It's time for another pick session right after this. Welcome back everybody. Hope you guys had an amazing week six. I did. We took home a victory in yearlies. We are now the point leader and we split money in DraftKings. Unfortunately, that lineup I gave you last week almost was in the money. Alexander Madison really hurt us there. If he just did what he was supposed to do, we would have done fine. Unfortunately, he didn't. So let's dive into this week and see what we're working with. But first, you know we got to hit out of this Scully one more time to get fresh in the face. Ain't that right, Scully? Uh-huh. Now let's start off like we always do with the quarterback, and this week we're going to talk about the guy who deserves to be talked about, and that's Kyler Murray. He's going up against the worst defense in the league in Seattle. They are 32 against the pass, and guess what? He is a beast, guys. I'm sure you're watching him run around like he's Super Mario with the star out there. The guy's absolutely incredible. He's averaging 28 points a game, so I think just with that floor alone, he's a good start in your lineup, and you could pair him with Kirk or Hopkins if you want, but I am not going to pair him with his receivers because I have some other guys I'm going to be working with this week. So we're going to talk about them after we get to the running backs and more skull time. <coughs> now it's running back time and first we're going to start with the guy we're going to spend on and that is Mike Davis. We're going to spend on him this week because it is a divisional game. He's a solid 20 point guy even though he didn't hit that floor last week. I do think he's going to have to hit it this week because they do need a victory against the Saints. The Saints are middle of the road against the run, but they are pretty poor against the pass, especially with the pass on the running backs, even though they have Kamara, who they practice against all the time. So I expect, again, 15 to 20 points. He could hit that breakout with a two-touchdown game because they're going to need to put up points to win against the Saints. And we're going to pair him with two low running backs this week. And the first guy we're going to talk about is Justin Jackson in L.A. And everybody thought Justin Jackson was going to be the backup to Joshua Kelly, the super rookie. But, again, Kelly hasn't really hit his stride yet. Justin Jackson just looks like the better runner out there. And Herbert, now that he needs to throw the ball, and he loves to throw the ball, I do expect Justin Jackson to have a big day. And he's only priced at 4900 So, again, with a 15-point floor with a nice breakout ceiling possible for him, because he is going up against Jacksonville, they're not great against the run, I expect him to have a nice day. And you're gonna pair him with a guy who I picked up off the waivers last week, who broke out finally like we were expecting, and that's DeAndre Swift. Guys, look, Swift is just the best running back there. He is sick when it comes to catching balls out of the backfield. And yes, Adrian Peterson might vulture a touchdown, but that's fine. If he's getting 150 all-purpose yards, I'm okay with that. And then if he falls into the end zone for another one or has a big play, I like that again. And again, he's only priced low at 5,400. So again, with a DeAndre Swift and a Justin Jackson pair, you're able to talk some big wide receivers this week, which we're going to talk about right after this. First up in the wide receiver position, we're going to talk about that guy we talked about last week that needs to be talked about again, and that is Mapletron Chase Claypool. This kid is absolutely everything we thought he was going to be. He broke out again last week. I know he didn't have a four-touchdown game, but he put up his value, and he's going to do it again. Look, 18 points is a nice value for a wide receiver that was priced at his price tag. I think it was 4900 last week. So he's 57 this week. I expect him to have another 15 to 20-point game. Again, if he has a big breakout, which could happen because you got a shitty pass defense, in Tennessee and there's always shootout potential there expect Chase to have another nice big day and we're going to pair him with somebody else we talk about a lot over here and that's the F1 McLaren I know Alex Smith is throwing him the ball but again who else is he throwing the ball to other than Logan Thomas so look F1 McLaren is literally the only guy there he's the game in town I expect him to have another 13 to 15 targets if he catches half of those and goes for 80 and a touch he hit his price tag at 5800 so don't expect a huge 30 point game but expect 15 to 25 points and that's kind of what we're looking for in cash games here so get him in your lineup for that 5800 price tag and we're going to pair him with another guy that I am just loving who I picked up in yearlies as well and that's pour me a little T Higgins T Higgins is the apple of Joe Burrow's eye. AJ Green is just, you know, an old Chrysler at this point. And Tyler Boyd is a possession receiver, but when it comes to the big play, T. Higgins delivers. He did last week. He didn't get into the end zone, but 125 is not a slouch day. That was his best performance all year when it comes to yardage. So expect him to find the end zone this week. And I like his price tag at only 5,300, that you're going to be able to fit some nice players in the lineup like you have this week. And we're going to talk about that tight end right after we talk to Scully again.
And now on to the tight end I'm looking at this week, and that is Hunter Henry. Hunter Henry has a nice matchup with Jacksonville this week, and I really like the way he's been looking out there. He looks healthy, and he's got a great quarterback throwing him the ball. I like Justin Herbert, and I like the way he throws to Hunter Henry. So look, get him in your lineup. I like his price tag this week. He's only 4,500, and he averages about 10 to 15 points a game. So look at getting him in for a nice little tight end, and then we're going to talk about that defense after Scully needs to talk to us one more time. Yes, Scully, we're getting lit with the people. And finally, let's talk about the defense we're looking at this week, and we're going to spend a lot on them because they have the Jets, and it is the Bills. Look, they did just get trounced by KC, but that is KC, and it's another week, and this week it's the Jets. And if there's any team you want to be starting a defense against, it is the Jets. So get the Bills in your lineup this week at 4,700, and that should round out the lineup for the week. I hope you guys copy it, and I might have to make some changes, obviously, because things always change in fantasy football this year with injuries and uh, game cancellations. Who the hell knows what's going to happen? So check back on my Instagram. It's at Ghost Stoner Life. And before we get out of here, you know it's dab time, and we got to take it out of the amazing High Five Duo. And if you guys didn't know, I am doing a spliff stakes of this right now on my website, ghoststoner.com, that you could win this and other prizes. Just go click on the link or go to ghoststoner.com after this video, of course. And let's get lit on this beautiful Zen as fuck runs because the taste yes and thank you oh it is time to wheeze that juice cruster get on in there runties and as the theme in october still goes it has to go orange of course guys now let's fire this on up and get on out of here i want to thank you guys again so much for hanging out with me good luck to all you out there i hope the money is with you don't forget to keep doing what you're doing for the community fucking vote it's coming stay beautiful and most importantly Stay lit.